conditional probability is the probability of one event conditional on that some other event definitely occurs. This is denoted by PBA. It's written like this, the probability of B given A. And it can be, can be computed using this formula. Take the probability of A and B occurring, divided by the probability of A. We can divide by the probability of A because this co conditional probability is only used if A actually occurs. In other words, P of A is not equal to zero. Here's our first example. Suppose that at some university, 48% of the students are females and 52% are males. Also, 7% are female math majors. What is the proportion of math majors among the female students? So this means that we need to find the conditional probability of math majors given that they're females. So we need to use the formula that we just discussed. The probability that a person is both female and a math major is 7%. The probability that it's a female is 48%. So multiplying the both top and bottom by 100, we get 7 divided by 48. Suppose that in some city, 3% of the population has a doctorate degree, and 8% has only a master's degree. What is the proportion of doctorate degrees among all of the postgraduate degree holders? This means we should find the probability that a person has a doctorate degree given that they have some form of postgraduate degree. So we need to use the conditional probability formula. In this case, A and B actually is the same as just B. Because if a person has a doctorate degree, that means they automatically have some form of postgraduate degree. So if we compute this, we see that the numerator is the proportion of doctorate degrees, which is 3%. And the denominator is the proportion of people that have either just a master's degree, that's 8%, or a doctorate degree, that's 3%. So in total, we have 3 divided by 11. Now let's have a look at the chain rule, which can be used to compute the joint probability of both A and B occurring. The probability of A and B is probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given that A occurs. This is valid even if the probability of A is equal to zero. But notice that in the case where this is not equal to zero, you can rearrange the chain rule to give the conditional probability formula. The chain rule can also be used for three or even more events. In that case, you would take the probability of the first event, multiply by probability of the second event given that the first one already occurred, and so on, multiplying each time. Suppose that we have nine white balls and four black balls. John is going to draw balls from this urn, and if it turns out to be black, he will keep drawing more balls until eventually he will get a white ball. What is the probability that he stops after two draws or three draws? If John stops after two draws, that means that the first ball must have been black and the second one must have been white. In other words, we should use conditional probability. First ball is black, multiplied by the second ball being white, given that the first one was black. The first one is black, has a chance of 4 over 13. Now that we've already drawn a black ball, and if we're given that the first ball is black, that means that we have 12 balls left, and 9 of them are white, so 9 out of 12. So the total answer becomes 3 over 13. Now let's compute the probability that John stops after exactly three draws. This means the first ball has to be black, same with the second, and the third one has to be white. So we should use the chain rule for three probabilities. Each time we calculate the probability of the first, second, or third draw, given information about the previous draws. In the first draw, we have four black balls out of 13. In the second draw, we are assuming that the first ball was black, that means we have only three black balls left, so three out of twelve. And in the final third draw, we still have nine white balls, so nine out of eleven. The total becomes nine divided by 143. Here are some exercises that you can try. Make sure that you pause the video before you check your solutions. Good luck!